Okay, Kyle's boat. We're undoing the trailer straps. We're at the dock. And we already undid the hook at the winch. And now we are going to plug in the gas with that silver part on the top. Mm -hmm. So we plug in the gas hose. Click, click it in yep, yep. to the motor. We'll come over here. Make sure the arrow's facing towards the sky. Okay, arrow facing towards the sky. Pump slow. Pump slow. You feel the ball get hard? Until you feel the ball get hard. Mm -hmm. and then, now take these straps. I always throw them in the back of my truck. Throw them in the back of the truck. And then before we launch, mm -hmm. in the dark. If you're launching in the dark. We're launching in the dark. So, so he is going to turn the lights on. They're already on. Okay. And then we'll grab our rope. Grab the rope. And now he's gonna attach the rope. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Another loop. Okay, another loop. Push through the center, over the cleat, pull, and you got it. Ain't going nowhere. Perfect. And I'll show you how to launch it by yourself. Watch. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Okay, of course, perfect. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, absolutely perfect. Okay, now the boat is starting to release. Do I throw this thing around these two? Oh, you're good. Okay. Should be floating enough in the back where you can just pull it right off the trailer. So pulling it off the trailer with these ropes. Now it is off the trailer. Now, if I ever do it as well as this, like. Okay. Now okay, you perfect. got slack in the rope right here, okay? Now the rope is slack, so we're, we're gonna, gonna tie it in slack. tighter. Yep, so you pull your loop, you pull one side of the loop, like that, you pull the other side, okay? Still looped, so you pull it tight, and it won't go nowhere. Wow, perfect. Okay. Yep. He's gonna pull away. Okay, so now he's going in. Left the lights on. Rollers are underwater. Try and leave, you know, the first one just barely under the water. Okay, first one is barely under the water. And then you're at the point of the boat down there, the beat. Yep. You're going to try and keep that in line with that track. And what this does is the boat 
the V, the center goes down lower as you go back. So the higher point is actually going to catch the rollers and it's going on straight every time. <laughs> every time you're doing it. Yeah. Alright, this is Josh, the boat expert. Leave the front one tied so you can pull it from the front. All the way out? No. No, not Just all. Just enough way to out. reach the hook in the front of the boat. Okay. So I'll come around. Safe. is amazing. It would take us like a hundred times to do that. Or a lot. Yeah, I mean it we've never done it that well. Okay, now we put those straps back on the back. Can't forget this part. What we forgot to Unplug do. the gas from the motor. I'm actually going to back it back into the water. Oh. Leave the lower part of the motor in there. Start it and let it run all the gas out. Oh, okay. So we're going to back the boat into the water, then yep. start it, and then let all the gas run out. Yep. It'll run and then it'll die, and then all the gas is out of the carburetors. Then all the gas is out of the carburetors. It doesn't have to be super tight, just snug. Back up, then put the prop in the water, start it up, let the gas run out. Take the blue rope off, put it back in the boat. Safe chain off. 
for your plug. Give you a lot. Perfect. That should be good there. Now, like I said, because you don't have to use the second tarp, because you got the cover on top of your boat. Mm -hmm. Crank it all the way up. Okay. Yeah, this lets everything drain out yep, of the boat. It runs right down the back of the boat. Did you take the drain plug out? I'm going to right now. Oh, okay. Right. Perfect. Twist it a little bit to the left. You know, pull it out. Perfect. Oh, that's not even that much water. In nope. It all came from the back, too. Look at that big old spider. Nice. See him? Yep. <laughs> there was like a huge spider in Alabama. No. That looked like a tarantula. Because it's it's getting cold out. Yeah. There's a lock behind here. It's right here. You'll have to lift that up. And what you do, lift it up, pick the motor up, and it'll lock, and now it's gonna drain all the water out. So it don't freeze in there. Do you leave it like this or do you put it down? I'll put it down when we put the cover on. Okay. I'll just let the water run out. See, this is where the, this is what has to be underwater right here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, pretty much. And so the muff, okay, is right the there. Yep. But should I put that on the boat so we don't lose it? Or does it want, get messed You'd up? be surprised how much you lose on the boat. Oh, why? Well, since we're storing it, we should put it on the boat, right? Yeah. I'll get it when we get the cover. Don't drive with the motor up like this unless you got a trailer saver. What's a trailer hole, saver? It's this long pole that goes from here to the back of the motor. Oh, uh, okay. Because if it drops, what it does is it'll weaken your transom or it could break your transom. Okay. All right, motor is pretty empty of water. And then you have, we you have to lower it again. Which is real simple. You pick it up. Okay, take pressure off, lift that up, and it'll lock itself back down. Perfect. Plug. Drain plug and put it in a safe spot, which is over here on the left. Or the right, either or. The right. Always put it in a cubby. Okay. And then we can cover it. All right, now we are covering it. <laughs> 